Morning, this is Joanne Reyes with the Fort Worth Hope Center, and we are privileged to have Grant and Myrna Trevithick with us today. They're one of our top donors that help us support us financially to do the work we do here in the Hope Center. And I want them to have a word with us and to share with uh, you all why they support the Fort Worth Hope Center. Thanks, hey Joanne, and uh, welcome. So my wife and I, about seven, eight years ago, came over here as an invitation to Joanne to talk about real estate, because we are real estate investors. And in talking to Joanne, she gave me the tour of the facility and probably it took me all about five minutes to get the vision of what she and Pastor Orlando are trying to do here. And not trying to do, but actually doing. What they have done is built an amazing facility, an amazing organization that provides food, clothes, uh, job training, and job placement for hundreds of thousands of families. So it starts with making sure that everybody gets enough to eat each and every day. They also have an extensive job training and a job placement facility so they can help people who are down on their luck, who are less fortunate, who have stumbled and fallen, to pick themselves back up and reintegrate back into society so that they can create a life that they're proud of, they're happy with, and that they can contribute and serve not only their family, but also community. So we love these two, we love the entire organization, we are deeply committed, and we support them, and I gotta tell you that each and every member of the Hope Center does an amazing, miraculous job. They walk in the sandals of Jesus and they really do his work each and every day. And uh, you have a lifelong supporter in not only us, but our company, Owner Finance Homes, and Owner Finance Academy. Oh, well, thank you, Grant. And you all are truly uh, have been with us not only just to support the operations day to day, but you've supported us with our galas from year to year and helped us be able to present this opportunity to many other donors. And it's just neat how the Lord brings people like you with influence and with love in your heart to influence others to get involved. And we really appreciate what you've done. And for Myrna, we appreciate you. She's new on the block. They just got married a few years ago. Uh, and we are so grateful that Myrna has a nonprofit also that she's, uh, they support through their nonprofit for us. And we just love her and appreciate her too. She's a real big part of what we do here at the Hope Center. So thank you so much for coming today. And today, what are you gonna do here at the Hope Center? Well, we brought the whole company well, we brought about half the company. We've got about 10 people here. And our job is basically to be a contribution and to serve other people. So we're gonna work on the serving line and we're gonna be handing out food for all those that come through. Uh, I think not only writing the check, that's always the easy thing to do, but coming out here and being of service is really great. Because one thing that I know, therefore the grace of God go us. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't take much to stumble and fall. It doesn't take much to be in the shoes of the people we are being of service today. So this keeps us humble. It keeps us understanding all the blessings we have. And it lets us know each and every day really how blessed we are that we're not in, in line asking for food and asking for uh, assistance. Because I know it could happen to anybody. Yes. So we want to know that everybody that comes through here, everybody that works here is incredibly important. And there's a whole community that stands behind you. There's a whole community that loves you. There's a whole community that's helped you lift yourself up and get back into a, a contributing member of society. And Grant, we really appreciate you coming out and being on the line because it lets our people know that our, our donors are not just in giving money, like you say, but you're here caring for the people, and so you'll be meeting the people car by car as they come by and putting the food in their cars. And one of the philosophies we have here at the Hope Center is that we give more than enough. We want all of our people to have seed to sow. We don't want them to come with their hand out. We want them to come with enough that they receive that they can give out to others. And it really affects their feeling about themselves. It affects the whole community that we're uh, training people to be partners with the Hope Center and getting the food out to others. And like it, last week, we gave 12 loaves of bread to every family so that every family would have something to give. And we have that generosity uh, attitude here, of giving more than enough, and it spills over to our people that they know they don't have to hoard their food. There's plenty of food. They can give it out and come back again to get more at another time. So we're very grateful for our, our food donors that provide all this for us so that we can do that, and for our financial donors like Get Grant and you and Myrna who provide this so we can have, pay our staff and keep things running around here, and we appreciate that because without you, we couldn't do it. It's a team. And we love y'all and appreciate you so much. Lord well, bless. It, it's an honor and it's a blessing to us that we're able to contribute and serve you guys because you're on the front line doing the work. So whatever we can do, 
can always count on us to be here for you. Well, thank you so much. Lord bless.